I am back again and we are continuing our adventure in Famaz. Famous to save the uh Rudal Begas. Okay, let's continue. We left off. I was in this dungeon. What's it called? Goblin Grotto. Let's see, enemy I don't wanna fight you. Enemy, I don't wanna fight you. Let's try not to fight him. Oh what is that? What what has happened? Trying to fight anything. Get some coin. Coin is always good. Potion. Got some more coin. Coin. Ooh, what is that? I come back after I defeat some enemies. Okay, I'll go over here and defeat this enemy. I'll go back for that loot. Let's see what that loot is. Teleport. Wow. How do I do that? Where do I use that? That sounds pretty cool. Let's see, you got enemy. Okay, a trap. Okay, another trap. Let's go back and get that potion. <clears throat> I didn't pick it up. There you go. Let's see here. Okay, I don't want to fight that. I want to fight that. Oh! Fine. I have, no, I have no idea what that does. Why am I glowing now? Is that like a crit or something? I want the key. The key. Whoa. The music went from really quiet or no music at all to really loud. That sounds like some rocky shit right there. This is inspirational. Let's see. Man, that music's really loud. No! <laughs> I was paying attention to the music. I didn't. Oh no. Why? Why? Okay, that's fine. Let's continue. Let's go ahead. Let's see. That's a reference to uh, a tale of the worst one. Rakudai, no, Rakudai Kishi, no cavalry. I think is what it's called in Japanese. It's actually a pretty good anime. It's not too bad. I'm gonna die if I go there. Ooh, the music went all sinister all of a sudden. Pot. I'll take that pot. It is a pretty good anime, and I suggest if anyone is watching this, sadly enough, no one's gonna watch this probably. I suggest you do watch it. If you're interested, it's a good anime. It's about a, uh. <coughs> excuse me. About a, um. student in a school where they have. It's like an average anime. They have, uh, competitions. Fights against different students with uh, certain abilities. They have like, oh, I can teleport anywhere. They have um, pretty much the main character. Let's talk the main character. The main character has a sword. He he uh, it's a samurai sword or a katana, I guess. To be accurate, accurate. And he uses that katana to fight in a competition. To get to the to win, he needs to or to graduate. His condition is he needs to get to the the highest rank in the competition and beat the best player, the best fighter in the uh, seven star competition, I believe. And to do that, he needs to complete the school competition and beat everyone that he's assigned to beat in that competition. And the reason why he's the only student with a condition to to graduate is because he doesn't have any magic ability. Now in the anime, magic plays a very important role. Magic is is used for fighting and oh no trap, <laughs> and is uh is what they rely on on the competition. In the competition, for example, his sister has the uh, ability to use ice with her weapon. She can fire ice shards and ice walls and all that cool stuff. But he, he has no ability, no magic ability at all. He does have, however, he has an ability to, to speed himself up or... Since he has very little to no magic ability, he what he does is he, he compacts all of that ability or energy into one minute. So it's called Ito Shura, I believe. And what he does is he channels all of his energy into one, one go. So he's like a one-shot, one-trick pony almost. So he can he can essentially one shot everyone he fights, but only in one minute. If he passes that, he he's essentially done. 
But that's never really a problem in the anime. The character always seems to pull through. You know, that average anime character, or the uh, main character always wins. Roll. Of course he has tough times like in any anime. He has to fight. He gets, I'm not gonna spoil it, but it is a pretty good anime. He also gets this really, really hot girlfriend in the beginning. With giant bazonkers. Which normally I don't like in anime. Like, I know anime is known for a lot of fan service and a lot of. Well, I have a crit. Maybe I can kill him one hit. Nope. A lot of fan service. But I, I tend to not enjoy when anime girls are extremely. Uh, busty. Yeah, that's the word. I like it when they're, they're more of a normal size or average. Because it's just it's so unnecessary and, and way, 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 way too, uh, way too out of hand sometimes. Like sometimes these anime girls have like triple apps or something. I don't know what the size is. Oh, it's a swastika. You see that? I did not condone the events that happened during World War II. Besides, you know, the, uh, the winning of it. But yeah, so, yeah, I don't mind anime characters as long as they're not over the top, which a lot of them are, unfortunately. That's why a lot of people turned off by it. I remember when I was younger, I watched anime. Dragon Ball, Inuyasha, Naruto, Bleach. But then when I got older, probably early high school, I was like, man, anime is so boring now. It's so, like, over the top. But then when I got older, even older, my early 20s now, I love anime. Which I've heard is... Normal, actually. People in their, uh... Apparently men in the early ages do not like anime as much as girls do and when when, when uh, men grow up they're like, oh man, I like anime and when women grow up they're like, ah, anime is too... No time for that, which is kind of odd. But that's... Oops, that's uh... That's not what I want to talk about. What I want to talk about is the over fan service in anime. Yeah, so the fan service is good. In moderation, but when it's too much, it definitely is too much. Okay, so where am I? Yeah, I'll use a swastika as my landmark. I'm here. I saw. I need a key. I need to find a key to get to the second. I keep dying. I'm so good at this game. I'm so good. I'm so good at this game. Where's the key at? Oop. Can I even spot those traps? I really don't think so. <laughs> so yeah. Nope. Anime. Anime is good. It's enjoyable. In moderation. Do not get too addicted to it and let it take over. If, if possible. What does this do again? Rutabaga. That's right. It turns enemies area to root of big as what is this again? find the key while well, I'm talking about anime I'll talk about an event that happens in Vancouver uh... ooh I got a key, nice there's an event called Anime Revolution and it comes, it's been going on for I'm not too sure to be honest. Maybe since 2011, 2012, it's in the convention center in Vancouver. It's downtown, and it's a convention center. That's all I can say. It's called Anime Revolution. It's very good. I love it. I've gone there I think two years in a row. I haven't gone. I haven't been like a pioneer and gone since the beginning because I was still in high school. And I didn't really want to go, but I've been going for two years now, and it's been enjoyable. I suggest anyone if you're in Vancouver to go. Tickets. I think are still on sale, but maybe not. I think the most expensive they can be is a $200 pass for press pass maybe, or VIP pass. And then if you want a general admission for adults, it would be $75 at the door for three days. Or $40 or $50 if you buy it now on sale. And it's an event, a lot of voice actors go there. Actually, Vic Manana from Poma Alchemist went there. And I love Big Manana. He's the best voice actor ever. He's the uh, voice actor for Ed in Fullmetal Alchemist, and it was 
Oh my god, I got to touch him. That's all I can say. I got to, my first year, the first voice actor I get to meet, Vic Mignogna. It was so worth it. Oh, I keep dying. I'm so Oh, he's such a great person. He, he's so kind, so nice to everyone. I don't know how you can be so nice. Like, it's amazing. I love Vic Mignogna. Best voice actor in the world. And in my second year, which was last year, I got to see Shin from the Yogg's cast. Which is even it's equally amazing, because I love Shin. He's my favorite Yogg's caster. C caster? Caster? Yeah. I got to meet him, and I got to meet Sugar Lin, Sugar Lin from uh, YTV. If you're from Canada, you know what YTV is. You watch YTV as a kid. Cooking with sugar or a touch of sugar that was a good one. Really good. Ooh, I'm not gonna fight you. I might just do this. Oh, I didn't get. <laughs> no. Yeah, I got to meet here and I uh, got a picture with with uh, Shin. I didn't get a get selfie with uh, Sugar because she was busy. Got an autograph and stuff. Yeah, this it's an amazing place to to go. Not too expensive, but of course if you go to the uh, merch section, it will be pretty damn expensive. I almost blew two hundred dollars in post days alone. Now that's stupid. Of course I am a fan. That's why I did it, but it's still stupid nonetheless. Like. Way too much money for for posters, mainly because posters are expensive, and merch there is can be on the high price side if you're not searching the right area. Of course, there are plenty of sales. Just look for the right things. But yeah, anime rev. If anyone's watching this, I hope you are watching this. You have to go there. It's amazing. Well, I think this is it for now. I couldn't. I still haven't gone past this level. I've died too many times. Swastika is still there. Backwards swastika. Thank you for watching. Join me again. Bye.